Hi all, this is the König from Knu. Today I'd like to talk about how many events OpenDolphin can handle. Recently we had the discussion how you could possibly organize the visualization of 10,000 alarms being in a system and uh, the need to distribute them to so many clients. So what you see in the back is um, a number of events and the events for the sake of simplicity are just numbers from 0 to 100. And not only does a value change between 0 and 100, every single value in between is also reached. In order to visualize that we actually covered all the distances between each value, there is a single tick mark that goes from uh, that goes with every value, as you can see. What I use here is a special feature from the Java FX gauges by Gerrit Grünwald, this uh, the so-called histogram. It works such that whenever you have a value set. It, uh, there's like a little light shining and it fades away over time. Such that we can really see whether we have reached all the values. Uh, I also changed the color. So the value changes 10 times a second and the value, the color also changes. We have like 10, 20 events per second being consumed by uh, six clients in that view. I tried with 10 clients, but then uh, I have only so many, so much memory on my machine. And uh, I also need to run the screen, screen capturing tool. So I decided to go for, uh, with X for the moment. But um, if you do this with, I would assume that if you do this with uh, many machines, then there should be no issue. Uh, looking at the memory consumption, there is, um, or our CPU, I'd say. There is almost no hit on the CPUs and the memory consumption is only as as big as you would normally assume from a Java virtual machine. Um, the consumption, uh, the, the server is also running on the very same machine and uh, this almost has, um, has no CPU um, usage at all. I also tried this over a longer period of time and it turned out that OpenDolphin is easily able to handle 10,000s of events um, without a hitch. Thanks a lot for listening and uh, use OpenDolphin.